Hi everybody, thank you for watching. I'm finally getting my voice back from my trip. I literally had no voice. Everyone was like, oh, it's like kind of cute, it's kind of sexy. I'm like, no, I literally sound like a 60 year old woman that has been smoking three packs of cigarettes every single day. So I'm very happy that my voice is back. I was in Punta Cana for a wedding and it was such a great time. And yeah, so I was going back and forth with this. Um, my hair is literally, I mean, this one's a little bit shorter, but it's almost one length and I've been wanting layers and then I'm like, well, it took me so long to get to this point. I've been growing up my hair for so long and I think the last time that I did layers, I did film it and it was probably like two, maybe three years ago, but I don't know. Something came over me last night and I was like, you know what? I feel like I need a little bit of a change. I had a really big, amazing photo shoot yesterday and I trimmed my hair because it was like pretty ratty. So I actually took off like that much. So you guys should be proud because look, look, it's like all, it's a nice little cut right there. So yeah, I was, I knew I needed it and it honestly feels so much healthier, but I don't know. I just need some layers back in my life, bring back the old Carly. So I figured why not film it? And I still meet people to this day and they're like, the first video I ever saw of yours was cutting layers into your hair and the first one I did was so long ago. So I haven't done this in a while. I never went to hair cutting school, so beware and cut at your own risk. So let's just like get right into it. Don't mind my band-aid right here. I burned myself with a curling iron while I was away, so that was fun. So I'm gonna trim the bottoms just a little bit more because I did do such a quick cut that I literally just brought all my hair to the front and just trimmed the bottom. I didn't even like section off any layers. Pin up half of my hair. If I have... Of course I don't have a hair tie, so I'm gonna use a headband because I don't feel like running downstairs for one. So. When I first started, when I first started doing uh, makeup, like freelance work back when I was 17, I had at that point had a really, really terrible haircut. I believe it was my freshman year. So ever since then, I just like taught myself how to cut my own hair, how I personally like it. Oh, this isn't gonna work. All right, I gotta go get a hair tie, hold on. So people would ask me like how I cut layers in my hair. And I had cut hair for a lot of people. Every time I would do it, I'd be like, listen, like I never went to school for this. I just like do it my own way and people didn't care. They still wanted me to cut their hair. So they had a lot of trust in me. Again, try at your own risk. This is what I've been doing forever. What I always do is I'll bring it all to the front and I will smooth it out and I will like take my hand as if it were like a comb or a scissor and just smooth the hair all the way down and I'm just cutting it right on the floor whatever I brought my vacuum up and I'm gonna take like this much more off because I already cut a lot like I cut like this much off guys so this scissor is like a Conair scissor you can get it right at the drugstore it's not a kitchen scissor I know every time I do this I always get like hairstylists yelling at me so I'm sorry if this hurts your heart but it's my hair and it's fine it's all gonna work out so I'm just gonna Snip, snip. Oh, I'm so sad it's getting dark out. Such a pretty view now with all the trees. All right, so same thing. We're just gonna smooth it. And I blow dried my hair straight before. And snip. So now I'm just gonna like make sure it's even. Um, so now we're gonna go back to the top section. We're gonna part it. I like my part down the middle. Feel free to part it wherever you guys want. I'm like a little nervous, not gonna lie. I hope I don't regret this. But it's hair. It'll grow back, it always does. But I was like, you know what, for summer, it'll be a little bit lighter. Like, this is like having a freaking blanket on my head, honestly. So now I'm gonna do like the same thing. longer here and now I just freaking cut my finger <laughs> and then what I like would do is like stand up and just kind of do like section by section and just make sure it's good
So, as I mentioned, I was away for a couple days and I got back on Tuesday and um, Bear gets like really upset when I leave. He's peed on my bed in front of me before and I was packing for a photo shoot that I had in New York City and I had two bags with me and I come home and he peed right, I have like a spot on my couch, he peed right on the spot and now my couch is like disgusting. So I scotch guarded it luckily and I have someone coming to like professionally clean it um, over the weekend, thank God, but like, ugh, so gross. So, you know, in my cat video, I didn't mention any of the negatives of having a cat, but if they start peeing everywhere, once they smell it, it's like a train wreck. So I definitely recommend like scotch guarding or anything um, if you do have pets because you don't want them to ruin your furniture. They're already gonna ruin it with their claws, but for some reason the fabric on my couch, it's so good that you don't see the scratches on it, which is really cool. So since it's getting dark, I'm gonna close it because it looks, it doesn't look good anymore. I like having like the trees in it. So the shadow is like throwing me off a little bit from my dress and the light, but. I think it looks good. Good enough for my standards. So I'm gonna take a comb and come right down by my ear. Like right behind my ear, I'm gonna take it to. So, like that. So, now I'm just gonna just secure the back for now. So, how short do I wanna make the front pieces? That's the question. But I'm probably thinking to like, here. I'm gonna start with less and then take off more as I go. What I do, and again, I haven't even rewatched my old video and it's been a while, but I just trust myself. So I'm gonna take this part of my hair, like just kind of grab. <sighs> I made it a little shorter than I had planned, but it's fine. I actually like that length. It's nice. Okay, so now I want to take everything and I want to leave like the thinnest part long, but I want to blend everything in together. So I'm just going to take it and I'm just going to do it like that. So I'm going to do the same thing. So I'm cutting into it on an angle. So I'm going to kind of go like that. And just, I'm more of like, I just eye it and hope for the best. <laughs> and then this is like the piece that I want to make sure is more. I'm going to go back in and like make this piece a little bit shorter. I just like doing like little bits as I go so you don't end up cutting too much off. I just do cut into it a little bit more. And I love choppy layers, so obviously this is not for everyone, but this is what I like. You can't even barely even tell that I have anything, but I can tell and once it's like curled, which I love, the reason I wanted to do this is because I love just like curling the bottoms under and it holds a curl so much better. So I'm just gonna take like a little bit of a bigger section and just kind of cut into it a little bit more just so it like flows a little bit nicer. Um, but if you're like a choppy layer type of girl, it's not gonna look the best when it's all straight, but it's gonna look really good when you like curl the bottoms under, which is like my favorite thing to do. So I think that side's pretty good. Maybe I'll cut into this a little bit. How many people are cringing like so bad right now? So now we section off. I like to comb it back. And just kind of like take a chunk, I hate that word, like a chunk of hair from the back. So like this much, I'll show you guys. 
So you can see all of this is still going to be one length. And I don't know if I said why. When you're trying to grow your hair, you need to have a really thick bottom piece. And the reason for that is, let me just tie the rest of this back. This is my theory. Um, I don't know if it's true or not, but if you leave like a nice long thick piece, your hair is able to grow together. So when I had gotten my layers cut in in freshman year of high school and she like chopped my hair off and it was terrible, um, my bottom longest piece was so thin that it wasn't able to grow past a certain length. So my theory always became like if you leave a nice thick layer at the bottom all one length, it'll have like the strength to keep growing and that way you can grow your hair longer. So that's just like something that I've always thought about and did. So now I'm just going to take a piece of that, like the highest piece. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to brush it out. I can't believe how long this layer got. Like, do you guys remember? I cut it not that long ago. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to pull it and pull it forward a little bit in my hands. So let me do this again so you guys can see. So I'm going to do the same thing where I like pull the hair. But I'm going to do it this way, and as I get tighter to the top, I'm going to pull it forward from the back. That way, the back part's going to be a little bit longer, and let's start with that. And I'm going to start cutting. So again, up and forward, and... Cut time. So much hair, oh my god. So I honestly want these layers like a little bit shorter, but I do want to do a little bit at a time because I'm having anxiety. Pull it up and tight and forward as well, so that way we're good and we're just going to... So look, it's short. so much hair underneath it so this is just the start. I'm gonna grab a little bit more hair from this side. I'm gonna brush it up. Start grabbing it, pulling it forward and then start see like how short that front layer is the top layer I mean so I'm gonna just kind of go from there and just cut it and same thing this side Look how long my fucking hair is. Oh my god. And I think I want to go even shorter. Let's go big or go home. Brush it. By the way, Cindy's sitting on my shoe shelf just watching me right now. This is hilarious. She's like, Mom, what are you doing? Don't do it. All right, so now I'm going to bring all my hair to the front. And again, I'm just going to eyeball it. So I'm going to take like these top pieces and just so the top layer is like all the same length and again it's a very thin layer at the top I'm just going to cut this guy in diagonal and if, you, if it's starting to look a little choppy you can cut into it a little bit like this it makes it like a little bit less thick looking 
like whenever you have like a sharp layer you can cut like into the, a thin piece for, right below it so it kind of flows a little bit nicer. So like for instance, I'm going to grab and just kind of slowly cut down like at an angle so it's not like super super chunky when it's straight. So I just grab and make sure everything like looks nice. So I love that it honestly doesn't look any different. I know it's different. It's because it's straight, which is actually good because you know what? When it's straight, you do want it to kind of flow so you could wear it straight, but I'm going to curl it so you guys can really see like the layers. And you know what? I might just make like this part just a little bit shorter so I can have like a really nice, a nice high um, angle or layer, whatever you want to call it. So I think that's enough for my heart to handle. So I just went down to get my curling iron. Oh my god. You guys, I don't know if it's that easy to tell on camera, but my hair is short. There's a difference here. And I'm actually excited about it. So this was like my favorite way ever to curl my hair. So I'm gonna just start with the bottom piece. It's just really quick, easy, and I love how it looks. I'm just gonna curl at the bottom. So I actually just got this. It's the T3 curling iron. Um, so I'm just gonna take it and just kind of curl. I love a fresh haircut because at my photo shoot, my hair stayed. I didn't even have to touch it up. So I did it in the morning really early and then I kept it in pin curls while I went into the city. So it took about like an hour and then I did my makeup and then when I took it down, it just stayed so nicely. So I haven't curled my hair like this though with an iron like this in so long. And that's just because without layers, it all falls so quickly and it just doesn't look right. So I've always used the wand. So it's probably been like two years since I curled my hair like this. So I'm excited. You could pin them. Um, normally I'll just pin like the layer pieces, but um, the bottom I'm just, I'm just gonna hold a little bit. If you hold it while it cools, it'll stay a little bit better. The moment of truth. Okay, so now what I like to do for these back pieces, these short back pieces, same thing. Um, if your hair is shorter, you can use a little bit of a bigger iron. Mine, um, since it's so long, if I use the bigger one, it would just all brush out. Okay. So now what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna like pin it up like that, so it stays. So for the front pieces, this is my favorite part about having layers of the front pieces. I'm just gonna take it. And like curl it away from my face. Oh my god, look at how little this curl is. Just gonna pin it up like that. Lindsay, if you're watching this, don't hate me. I'm gonna get some texts from my hair. My hair friends are gonna be like, what the hell is wrong with you? It's fine. I like it like this. I'm okay with choppy. I'm gonna do another spray. And then I'm just gonna brush. Oh, sorry, one more pin. <laughs> I always do that. I always lose a pin in my hair, especially if I do bobby pins. And there is the hair I've been missing. Yes. 
so you can just see how much more volume I have. I'm gonna show you guys the back, but like the front pieces alone, I'm obsessed. You guys can see. So I definitely could have taken a little bit off, but I think because it was so long, I need to like transition it a bit. But I absolutely love the layers. I think it just brought some more life back to my hair. So that is it. That is how I cut layers in my hair. It has been a while. I honestly feel like it could have been a little shorter, like this layer. But you know what, for now I'm gonna leave it and then if I wanna go crazy in like a couple weeks then I will see how I feel once I can live with it a little bit. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Again, if you do decide to try this at home, remember do little bits at a time, have someone help you and you know, try at your own risk. But I personally have been doing my hair like this probably like 10 years, maybe even a little bit longer. So for me, I just know I can kinda like eyeball it and just like go for it I'm never like scared, which is good. But if it is your first time, I recommend having someone help you. Um, but yeah, so I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Thank you so much for watching. I hope everyone has a safe Memorial Day weekend. I love you guys so much. And until next time, I'll see you guys later. Hi everybody, thank you for watching. Today I'm gonna show you how to get this really cool line haircut.